in this video, I will be explaining to you guys on how my recent drop did for my clothing brand from start to now. And also you wanna make sure you watch this video all the way through because I'll be teaching y'all exactly how I did it and how you could do it 10 times more effective. So make sure you get them notes and pens out and enjoy the video as well. Hey man, what's good too, man? Back from another video. Um, nice little calm video. I don't know if I'm gonna make this a week in a day. Um, today's drop day, calm little drop day. I think I already told y'all in the last video. Well, I told you at the end, but um, I'm moving like basically like with my brand. It's not more so just like hoping um, I sell out first day or whatever, and I can't sell out because it's prime demand. But like go crazy first day. Like we're trying to build momentum now. Instead, of, we're trying to do the strategic. What the fuck? I should have went to college, bro. Strategic. I'm trying to do this um, the right way and just just build momentum. And so like the next month gonna be well because we gotta first like have something on the site. You know what I'm saying? We gotta have a nice good cash flow. But this is the goal. So first, doing the SMS message right now. Let me show y'all boys. Um, second SMS message ever, by the way. It's calm. You know what I'm saying? It got the nice little picture. Uh, 0 0.3. That's the collection name. VIP pre-made, blah, blah, blah. You gotta do what I'm saying. Appreciate all the support. We about to hit that four kizzy. I don't know if we're gonna hit it already. I don't know when I'm gonna release this. I got hella videos lined up for y'all. Like, if you don't know, like, I'm grinding. And then I already, I'm about to schedule this, right? And then I already got the Instagram post scheduled. I did this last night. Tell me I did not cook on this bitch. I know y'all can't see, but if you want to just go see, just go on Instagram. Look at the billboard. Dropping a video on that, by the way. Another seven ways on how to, what's, like, ideas to market with your clothing brand on the way. Um, but yeah, fire ass dump. Um, we doing something different, you know what I'm saying? We already we already posted the um the shirts on the ground, so like with your drop date post, you don't want to repeatedly post the same thing. So you want to do like I say, dumps are like really popular. So I just do a nice little dump. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people love dumps, and I want to make people more connected with our brand. And we've been gaining some good um SMS traction too. Um, been getting a couple SMS, so everything's looking good. We at 1800 right now, so calm love. But yeah, um, and then I contact um again a bunch of influencers in my brand from my list. Right, a whole bunch of influencers, a lot of people, a lot of goats. I appreciate it. I, re I really appreciate it because niggas just said, cool, bet, send me clothes. I really felt like I'm not, a lot of niggas are really, really cool. So yeah, it's like five minutes until drop time or some shit. And it's not gonna be like last time where I don't wanna show y'all and I'm disappointed and sad, but cause I actually have a game plan to actually make money like before, you know what I'm saying? And also, I like the, this is the rebuilding stage of um, E-Star, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like we're starting over, so. And we made it we made it up, so like, say if we even get one order, it's still a successful drop. Well, it's not gonna happen, but you get what I'm saying. And yeah, so li I'm literally gonna market these t-shirts all the way, literally forever, but marketing these t-shirts all the way into like September. So yes, like, bro, it's gonna be that deep. My next piece I'm dropping is gonna be in September, so yeah. Um, let me show you how this site. I made this site very convertible. You know what I'm saying? Cause before it was it was like real shitty. It was just real simple. I try to like be like that brand that like just just sell, like you know. It, yeah, but this is the website right now. Um, real simple convertible. Then we got a mystery item. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to cop, it's only twenty five dollars. It's from like my old inventory. But yeah, this is how the site looking so far. Real calm shit. And soon we're gonna start running ads. And yeah. That's when I'm gonna make my, the, it's just, it's gonna be a snowball effect. So you know how snowball gets bigger over time? We really done a mountain. That's literally what it's gonna be. Y'all gonna, I'm literally showing y'all the whole process. That's how confident I am in this because, um, yeah. Like it's once we get our affiliate program and influencers stacked, like, and then we start running the ads and then it's gonna be a piece of cake, bro. Like it's kind of like, you kind of, once you already did it, you kind of already know how the whole process works. But yeah, drop day gonna be calm. I think a nigga just sold the fucking bag. Bro, so look, we broke. So it was the most people ever on our site at like one time, right? Hella niggas checking out. Bro, tell me why niggas couldn't check out, bro. And then I'm checking the settings, right? And now, for some reason, niggas can't check out. You gotta use like a certain bank. And I'm like, bro, like, why, how did I just sell? And the settings look fine. I think it might be like, Oh, I don't know what it could be. It's so, yo, don't start no fucking brand, bro. Oh my God. Everything went extremely well. I can't even, I don't know. So look, I go to my Shopify right here. So look, this is July 12th. This is when I market. So let me just show you how to 
sessions per week of the drop. Um, sessions been down. I'm not gonna lie, haven't been no crazy sessions, but this was before we dropped. So, calm sessions is only like 1k for real. But we go to the drop day, and on the drop day, as I told y'all, we only got like two orders, and one of the orders was my was my um was my cousin. So, this shit was a huge major fail, and I was like, fuck, did I just I failed again? I was like, bro, there's no fucking way this shit happened again, bro. But I was like, bro, this is confusing. Like, the last drop we had, it wasn't that many people on the site. And it was, like, real booty. And the marketing was, everything just didn't align. But I kind of did everything right. And it just didn't, you know what I'm saying, go well. And I know I fucked up on the shipping rates. But damn. So I fixed it. I went back in the site. I was tired of shit. And I fixed everything. I fixed, I went, I looked over everything. Looked over the payments. And there was something wrong with our payments, too. But it wasn't. So it was just mad confusing. So fix everything, right? And then, boom, now we go on to the next day of the drop, right? The next day, right? Next day, um, did better than the first day. We got six orders, right? And I was like, okay, cool. Things are starting to ramp up, right? This is where shit get funny. <laughs> y'all niggas gonna be like, y'all gonna be like, what the fuck? So, um, the sessions are hella low. Like, bro, we this is like, cr like a 1.85 conversion rate, bro. Our brand has never seen that for, like, our conversion rate used to be really doo-doo. Like, bro, the conversion rate used to be so ass, but, like, the, it's... Shit is converting now, and the only reason why I think that is because it's back to back to school time, right? But it's also like the marketing and the T-shirt, right? Because if the T-shirt wasn't good, niggas wouldn't buy it, right? So we got six orders, um, better than the first drop day, right? For some reason, I just suck having good drop days. I don't know what it is, but I need to work on that heavy. That's like the main point, like like when we actually have products available and then we start running ads and creating content, like nigga nasty with it, nigga gonna make money, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, fucking drop days, nigga, I'm trash. I don't know, bro. It's like I know, like my S, like our SMS subscribers, like it's like we have like right now we have like 1850, so we're we're growing it, right? But but um, a lot of those are like um dead subscribers, right? Low key, so I don't know, like I know it sucks, but at the same time, it's like nigga, damn, bro. So yeah, hella low sessions, like 200 sessions, but six orders creates conversion rate. Shit, cool, right? Then this is where shit start get funny. This is where I was like questioning my whole reality, nigga. See, if you don't question yourself, then you're not doing something right. I'm gonna tell you boys that. Like it's gonna be moments like this. I'm before I even show y'all this, it's gonna be moments like this before like you're gonna be like, yo, should I really even be doing this right now? Like nigga, I'm like two years in deep in this bitch. I was just like, what the fuck? Like nigga like what the fuck and by the way everything is like everything that i'm doing is totally organic we just been trying to focus on cracking that organic because once we start running ads, like once we once you crack the organic you could really start running ads and that's where you really start printing money it's so, like once you crack that organic it gives you the green light to start running ads because you don't want to have no proof and have no um have no like signs that oh the ads are actually going to work because you don't know like for, for like don't do that like actually working organic so you can actually know so boom the 14th right 14th low ass like sessions was hella low zero orders i'm like shit okay and eh, a little low day but you have days where you have like maybe no like like no orders but this is like third day after the drop so i'm like fuck like what do i do um by the way throughout this whole process bro i didn't stop posting i, I was posting daily so i kept posting daily i'm like shit what the fuck is going on bro so I'm like, maybe it's, maybe it's just like, you know what I'm saying? just happens, right? The next day, zero sales again, even lower sessions. I'm like, shit, nigga, no way we're this cooked, bro. And I'm like, gladly we didn't fucking buy no bulk order because we would be fried right now. Like, oh, my God. Like, I'm like, shit, bro. Another day, no orders, nigga? Like, fuck. Like, nigga, I'm like, shit, fuck, bro. Okay, now we go on to the next day. Y'all won't believe this shit. Oh my fucking god, another day, no fucking orders. I'm like, oh hell nah. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, bro? I'm like, oh hell nah. Yo, what am I doing wrong? Is my videos trash? Like, bro, I know the product I made is better than a lot of people's brands. Like, and it's hitting people's for you page. Like, what the fuck is going on, nigga? What is going on? Like, I'm like, shit, bro. Okay. By the way, I'm still posting daily. I'm like still not giving up because if you give up, then if you give up, then you might as well just throw the whole brand away. Never ever give up. If you give up, then you're gonna be cooked. Like don't give up. Why should you give up? Like nigga, come on, be for real. Boom, right? And I'm like, okay, maybe maybe it's just like maybe it's just like like you know like something's going on. I don't know. Check the site. Everything looks good, and I'm just like nobody's buying. Seventeenth. 
again, nigga. Oh my god. I literally by this day, I literally forgot I even had a clothing brand. I was like, bro, I don't hear the ding. I forgot we even dropped. I'm like, yo, we're cooked, bro. Say goodbye. Like, throw this whole shit away. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I didn't say throw this whole shit away. I'm just like, yo, I just gotta keep creating, creating better content, better content. That's all I could do. Just keep shooting content, shooting content, and then, boom, right. And then, um, I had saw this and I was like, okay, fuck it. Um, then some nigga texted me. He was like, um. I want to cop for back to school, right? I want to cop for back to school. One with the hoodie, one with the um, the shirt gets me. I'm like, um, he said he gave me a time frame. He goes to school like August 30th or some shit like that. I'm like, the shirt is definitely gonna get you get there before get there before then for sure. Like definitely, like we um, pop partner. They're definitely pretty fast ship. Like they're shipping in seven to twelve business days, and if you order, it only takes two days. So you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be fast. So I was like, cool. So I was like, um, our whole plan was actually do back to school month like during August, right? Or like late late July. I'm like, fuck it, nigga. We're going to just shoot back to school now. We're going to do back to school right now. We're going to do $37 tees, nigga. Um, 20% off of them bitches, and we just going to go haywire. Fuck it, nigga. After that, I don't think we look back. So now it's the eight. So we, so, so it's 12. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, it's damn near almost a week into the fucking drop. So it's the 18th. We get a couple or we got we literally, literally super low sessions again couple orders like okay ramping right okay cool ramping i don't think i really did the sale yet right i think i did the sale like probably like the next day or so um ramping right we like cool 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 we'll do cool um actually i think i did start i think i did might have started sale today i don't remember but sign sign around these lines right and we also were selling our mystery box right which the mystery box Actually, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm chatting. I'm chatting. We been was selling our mystery box. We started selling a mystery box. Some of these orders are from the mystery box. So, um, this is not all from the t-shirt. So, nigga, the t-shirts was not selling. So, some of these orders are literally from like mystery box. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, um, yeah. So then we get on to the 18th. I'm like, shit, bro. So basically, to the drop to the 18th, right? We only made. This is how much we like. It was like real trash, like super duper shitty. Like, and then boom, I was like, all right, I'm going to just drop the sale right now. Fuck it. And we're going to see what happens. And I'm going to just keep marketing. And then my brother came down. We shot some content. We kept going. I literally didn't stop content. I'm telling you, if you just don't stop, then you will succeed. But like, you literally just got to keep going and just keep moving forward. Because I could have just been like, fuck this shit right now. Nigga, I got two field drops back to back. Nigga, throw this whole shit away. Nigga, we're cooked, bro. <laughs> like, bro, I could have been like that. And then, um, basically, like, you know, the, um, you know the meme where like the diamond shit where the niggas pick at picks action and then he runs away when like the diamonds is right there. I'm gonna pop a picture on the screen, right? I could have been like, fuck this shit, we done, it's over. Say goodbye. It's been a week. Nigga, no orders, no sales. Drop filled with the whatever. Then we get on to the nineteenth. Nineteenth is where shit starts shaking. I'm like, okay. Okay, sessions going up. That's when my videos are starting doing better and better. And people are actually like, oh, this t-shirt fire. And it's a back-to-school sale. I go to school like a month. And I'm like, okay, cool. 300 sessions. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Six orders. Everything's just going up 2% conversion rate. I'm like, cool. Okay. Let's see how we going to keep going, right? Keep going, right? Boom. Next day. Next day. Calm. It's calm. But it's still, we still getting some orders, right? Low sessions is hell. I don't know what the... Fuck the low sessions about, but low sessions is hell, right? Boom, right? This is all organically, by the way. Then we go to the next day, right? Next day. Boom, another valid day. Like, bro, the sessions is low as shit, but we getting a couple orders. A couple orders, you know what I'm saying? Like, a couple orders. So we getting a couple orders, and people are selling. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. Like, they're doing pretty valid. We keep going. Another pretty valid day. Yes, it went down a little bit, but another pretty valid day. So, like, for some reason, I'm shit at fucking drop days. But like I could get sales over time, especially during the time frame. So then we get then I'm just um scooping up to here, right? So then when we get here, right? And so um basically throughout the whole drop, right? We made so this is really what a drop counts for. Real. So now from from it's basically been a week, right? Since I did the sale, and now we're at like basically you see what's on the screen we're at a two percent conversion rate this is the best conversion rate we ever had in our brand i'm not gonna lie like two percent is insane bro i'm not gonna lie like this is where you could really start running ads because the two percent conversion rate that's really like in a clothing space that's pretty hard especially if you run it ads and like like you're you're um and like none of my videos went viral either that's the thing none i'm talking about none of my reels tiktoks 
have been going viral. This is just off the fact of just me posting consistently and people seeing my posts. None of my videos went viral. So just think, just I'm going to just keep posting daily. And say if a video does go viral, then literally the we're going to get hella orders. But yeah. So a week, so basically a week since it dropped, a calm two bands. And some of y'all might think that that's, that's not calm, but it's pretty calm. Like it's nothing crazy. We got 50 orders. But yeah. Once so this right here has gave us the go to actually start running ads. So we're um we're gonna and also right I'm also gonna tell y'all some more stuff right. Um, I really wanted to drop really quickly, so I didn't get no influencers in my brand. I didn't do no ads, no boost posts, none of that shit. So I just literally just was posting posting organically. So I wasn't expecting our drop to do anything crazy anyway. But the fact that I dropped even like so far we made like this much in a week and like we got this amount of orders in a week right just gives us the green light to like next month i'm pretty sure next month we're gonna 5x this like this is gonna be a 5x next month i'm pretty sure because we're gonna be running ads and then a whole bunch of influencers are gonna be in our brand which is just gonna bring more attraction that's the goal so i already got i got um four influencers shirts on the way to them right now and i'm about to do so much more influencers quick update on the drop on how it's going so yeah i'm not updating this video for a while so that's why it's been like a week however time it's been but yeah things been going really swell today was a really really good day for the drop and i also hit all the goals that i set for my drop so let me show y'all today was a really good day 11 orders 11 orders calm shit yeah and a good conversion rate is 2.5 conversion rate with 400 sessions nothing crazy and yeah calm little day so yeah we hit all of our goals so the first goal was to hit 1900 on SS, sms um 10k and the second one is 10k on ig and three thousand dollars off this drop and we did all that um basically on our sms we got 18 we got um a thousand eight hundred and ninety five which is basically 1900 and we're gonna get like five more subscribers tomorrow like 10 or whatever so we're gonna hit that then on ig we got like we're at 9k 916 so we're probably gonna hit the followers tomorrow or the next day whatever probably tomorrow most likely then for the goal we're at um for the money wise we're at we're at like 3500 right now so we surpassed that so we hit all the goals ski i got everything right here i'm about to show you i literally set a whole game plan and i also do this for every month now i'm just starting to do this so um and yes things not everything went as planned but it still went good like things still went good so yeah, um, now we actually going crazy. So, and then we also got two more days. So we probably could go crazy again the next day. So yeah, let me show y'all boys literally right here. Everything I literally wrote down how my, how I plan my drop and go, how I plan a month ago, literally step by step, just to show y'all a quick look. It's like how to like plan for your drop. Cause I'm actually really shit at planning. I'm getting better at planning. So I'm just working on that skill. Cause I'm pretty dog shit at it, but yeah everything's gonna go i might update y'all until i update this until i actually upload this video i'm gonna keep updating y'all but yeah probably gonna go crazy um next month is probably gonna be a really really good month we're probably gonna top it i'm not gonna lie our next month is gonna be our best month ever so yeah i'm gonna get into that game real quick so now yeah i explained you how to actually i explained you how my drop is going right now so i think it's really about the timing right um it's back to school as well and the, my tees are really affordable right that was the whole point and also like my site is super convertible i'm actually i'm i edit my site like all the time but yeah you see like by the way this is me but yeah i edit my site like all the time like it's very very it's very very like easy to navigate and everything is just right there and in there like it's super easy so yeah that's another thing and it's easy to check out x y and z uh, blah, blah blah but yeah it's super easy and i feel like it's just timing like i can't really be like oh um it's all me and it's marketing now nah, i don't think so it's more sense of timing so this is calm so i plan on running ads and doing all that good stuff and try to make better content to where i could actually go viral so that's the whole goal so i'm pretty sure august we're gonna blow this shit out the water and then even september we're gonna blow this shit out the water so we just had to test it and now we know what our actual um like what's the winning product here and so now right so this is basically this whole this whole first part of the drop been like a test and i'm like I'm going to explain to y'all why it's been a test. So I'm going to show y'all for example. So look, since now we actually been getting some orders, we actually got data, right? And so now with the data, we can actually see what products are selling the most and what is our winning product so far. So throughout all these products, you'll see. So we only sold five units of 
this tea right here of the present. The present teas haven't been doing that well, but it's okay though. It's all about testing. Like then we um then actually three units for this tea. I was surprised about this as well, right? And then this tea right here been sold twenty times. So the valedictorian teas are already the winners, like you can already see. And then this one has been our best one yet, thirty five. So this one literally alone has made us twelve hundred dollars just off the fact of this is our best seller. So this is how you test. So now what I'm gonna do is for all my influencers, this is the only tea I'm sending out to them. They're not getting a, before they all of them be they got they got an option, right? But now they're all gonna I'm all gonna be sending them out these teas right here, right? Um this tea, this tea, or the black tea. Those two teas, that's all gonna be sending out to the influencers. Just because these are the winners and like more people are gonna buy, instead of sending them out the president tees, I'm gonna just, just send them out the valedictorian tees because that's what's gonna make us more money. That's how you um real quick little tip for y'all. Um, how you not lose profit on like most of your um clothes, right? Say if you do buy bulk, um, you have a really good winner that gets you all the sales, right? And then you have these sub products that up your order value and stuff like up your order value and stuff like that, and that you could run sales on so you get rid of the inventory. But this is where you make all your money, your your um your winner winner product. That's where you make all your money. So like it's not an equal disrip equal um it's not equal throughout all your products like you have that one winner that just prints bread so this one has been going crazy for us like literally got like majority of the order so i'm sending this out to all the influencers so yeah so if you want to have a, a great job i'm just give you the step-by-step -step plan right so look um this is what i would do right if i want to have a really really good job so instead of rushing my drop, right, especially if this is your first drop, the only reason why I rushed it because we needed some cash flow. Like, we need money coming through. So it's like, I already know how to run my brand. I already know how to market all that good stuff. We just need some cash flow. Like, I already knew we was going to be straight. I'm not going to lie. I knew we was going to be straight, so I just rushed the drop, right? For you, don't rush the drop. So I'm going to give you the exact game plan. So look, first thing first you want to do with your drop. So you want to plan out everything. Plan out everything. First, we're just going to plan. We're going to plan heavy. Before you even buy the sample, we're going to plan. We're going to plan OD. So you're gonna use Pop Partner, right? Or another print on a print on a man US service, whatever you want to do, whatever you're comfortable with, right? So then you're gonna do that. And then you wanna order your sample. So you're gonna order your sample, check out the quality, check out how the print is, all that good stuff for yourself. And like, cool, I really fuck with this, I really like this, like this is valid to me. Then boom, next you're gonna um next you're gonna buy um you're gonna do a sample, you're gonna do uh you're gonna buy a whole bunch of samples, right? For these samples, it's gonna be a sample order. I'm talking about Pop Partner, but if you're using a US manufacturer, it's different. So you're gonna do a whole bunch of sample orders, right? You're gonna contact about 30 influencers, right? Or 100 influencers, how many that you can, right? And try to get at least 15 to 20 people in your brand, right? Um, influencers, right? 15 to 30. I would say try to get as much as possible, as much as you can afford, but at least 15. 15 could get you a lot, right? So you get 15 people in your brand, right? So you tell them like, yo, um, can you put this on for a video for me, da 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 da, et cetera, et cetera, boom. You do that for them, right? So then now, um, before you even drop, right, you send all these pieces out to the influencers, right? And it takes around like, probably like three weeks max for it to actually get to the influencer. Max, I'm talking about max, depending where you live, max, max, right? So just plan for the max, never plan for like, safe, um, safe the shipping for like anything says like three to five days, right? Always do like, try to put like three extra days on top of that just in case of any like delays right just so your plan could be flawless right so you're gonna do that so now that you actually have a, all these influencers in your brand right so now what you want to do is do model do photo shoots and model shoots with the samples that you already got get all your friends get your families your um your sister your brother um anybody you could think of who actually get fly don't get no bum ass nigga in your shit but niggas who get fly like for me luckily i have a lot of fly friends I got a fly brother who has a lot of fly friends, so it's just easy for me, right? But if you if you don't have that, it's okay. It's it's okay. You're just starting out, so you don't have to worry about it. If you're just starting out, it's perfectly fine. Don't worry. The influencers are gonna be the fly niggas for your brand anyway, so don't trip. So, boom, you're gonna do that, right? And so now, before you even really drop and before you even start marketing, well, you're gonna well you, not before you start marketing, but before you even drop, you're gonna have a whole bunch of people already in your brand already. So people already know that you have social proof and your brand is actually legit, and um, that people are actually quote unquote buying. People people didn't really buy yet, but to the buyer, it seems that people have already bought because they see a lot of people in your brand, so they think that they're trustworthy. And you're not gonna get you're not gonna scam them, right? So now that the piece is hard, you're gonna just okay, cool. You're gonna sell it. You're gonna sell it. Um, so now boom you start marketing right 
um, so now you actually now you actually start marketing right and so you use all them videos that the influencers took in the photos right and you put that and you post that on your brand page and just keep driving that driving that you can do a boost post if you want to or run as if whatever you want to do right or just post you could do all these things right but if you're just starting out you probably just want to go organic so now you just post heavy on reels and tiktoks and just post heavy 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 for like two weeks right i'm only saying two weeks and not three or four because or like a week and a half or two because you want to already um drop right so you can start getting cash flow right so a pop partner you could literally like there's no risk like you don't have to like if your drop gets zero sales you basically didn't lose our money technically you did but you didn't because you didn't buy a bulk order so if you would have bought a bulk order, you would have sit in inventory but now you don't have sin or inventory so you, you want to drop as fast as possible because you can start getting that cash flow and right start building your sms list and all that good stuff spend two weeks just marketing building your sms building your sms and then you have your drop day send your sms message out right boom and then you do like a cold quote sale so if you do a back to school sale or a black friday sale whatever you do whenever your brand starts you do that and then you just sell and just keep going with the marketing don't stop with the marketing and now i'm about to give you the sauce after the drop what i'm doing literally right now keep going with influencers the job after the drop don't mean the work is done buddy you keep working keep sending out to more influencers you want this piece to be worldwide known you want to see like when people see that piece they know of your brand so just keep sending it out to influencers keep going keep going reinvesting that money back into the brand keep reinvesting that money right reinvesting that money so you want to get a whole bunch of more influencers in there right keep getting influencers you want to start running ads possibly if your brand is actually doing good whatever the case may be also what you want to do right and also you want to just keep posting content daily content daily 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 it doesn't matter if it's a story post or a reel i don't think you should do a feed post daily like feed posts don't do those daily like no I would say just do reels daily because they're videos, but feed posts don't do those daily. I would say do a feed post probably like once a week. Like you don't need to be doing feed posts all the time. Or before my my um before I rebrand, I used to like when I was doing my sweatsuits, all them posts went fucking dumb by the way. Like yo sweat sweatsuits print money by the way. I just want to let y'all niggas know, nigga. Each post was getting like one k. I wasn't doing no boost posts. Like each post was just getting one k organically. So if you do want to do post this all the time right i would say max max nigga do two posts a week that's it feed posts i meant feed posts reels you you could post reels daily but feed posts only do two a week if you're gonna do that two and then sometimes you want to lay off a week probably do one a week but only do max you do two don't od with feed posts because people gonna get annoyed right but with reels you could post reels daily because reels are videos and even though people get annoyed by that it don't matter because um, you could reach a whole bunch of you could reach a whole bunch of people with reels so don't worry about reels and post story posts you want to post on your story all the time you want to post on your story all the time um you can post i wouldn't say daily but say if you don't post no content that day do a story post so it doesn't matter either post a feed post reel or story post but only do re only do a feed post two times a day so i mean two times a week my bad with tiktok you already know the shit on tiktok tiktok a whole lot of bullshit right now but literally tiktok freestyle that bitch if you want to do three videos a day one video a day whatever you want to do tiktok is random to be honest i don't know shit about tiktok i'm trash at tiktok i'm not gonna lie so i'm not gonna give you out a game on tiktok if i'm trash at it so yeah that's what literally what you want to do and then also in the back end you want to be working on an actual sample piece that you can actually get a bulk order with so you're just building hype for your brand so people get that warmth um feeling with your brand first so then once you get um come out with the creative piece that you've been working with the alibaba manufacturer you can actually go crazy but yeah that's the game i got for y'all boys today calm little video straight into it you already know the you already know the vibes but yeah this is how my drop is going so far and i think my job going like august i really think it's gonna be a crazy month because like influencers and ads like hopefully i may get that for y'all like i suck at drop days so that's what i'm working on too nigga i'm not i'm not no fucking nigga i'm not no fucking specialist like i'm still working it i'm still um working this shit out just like y'all like bruh that's just what it is i'm not gonna lie like i'm still you see i rebranded my brand like nigga a whole hot mess so i'm just like y'all niggas so like don't even trip like i'm just like y'all so yeah brand starts first link of the bio free discord first link of the bio so if you need mock-ups um mock-ups manufacturers influencers all that good stuff bro brand saws first link in the description you already know where to go just to finally update y'all boys so it's the 31st the end of the month um this probably be the end of the video actually so um hit all of our goals just hit we hit 10k on ig um, um about like 100 orders 4k in sales 
um and 1900 on sms we're hitting 2000 very very soon so like probably like in like a couple of days hit like 2000 sms so all the goals were hit that's why i'm just telling y'all yo y'all seen the good the bad the ugly the um everything that i got for y'all I'm, I'm literally showing y'all everything so that's what i'm saying like bro just keep going keep being consistent keep posting don't give up on your drop this is how we look in month to date chat boom skis boom 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 yeah that's how we looking for month to date so all the goals were hit and now we want to the next month not the next month is gonna go i'm telling you it's gonna be it's gonna be crazier it's gonna be way crazier it's gonna be real deal back to school and also content gonna get 10 times better so i'll bring y'all on with this journey this clothing man journey this shit is not easy so i'll keep going keep riding i already know the vibe so yes sir ski I'm finna catch all your young boys later you feel me deuces you feel me